Right now, Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey is suing to roll back access to abortion medication. This move comes just weeks before voters choose whether or not to end the state's abortion ban. Our Travis Cummings is in studio with what's inside the new filings and if they have a chance of advancing. Hey Mike, the filing came in nearly a week ago. Attorney General Andrew Bailey is joining AGs in both Kansas and Idaho in this fight to roll back the use of Mifepristone. Keep in mind, while it's only three states on deck for this, it would impact the entire nation if it makes it up the chain. Abortion is in the front and center, right, of the political and legal landscape in a way that it hasn't been in years and years and years. With two and a half weeks out from the November election, Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey is one of three state leaders looking to slash access to the abortion pill Mifepristone. Over the summer, a group of anti-abortion doctors tried to challenge the FDA on the medication, but got denied by the Supreme Court for lacking, quote, standing. Can you talk a little about this idea of standing? You have to show that you personally as the plaintiff have a stake in it, meaning um, you are affected by it directly and you stand to be harmed. Now you have states, three states saying, the actions of the federal government and the Food and Drug Administration, right, are causing us as a state harm. Health law professor Dr. Kelly Gillespie at SLU says there could be some progress with this new approach. They may have some luck in the the trial of the lowest level court, the court where they filed the action, which is the Northern District of Texas. That district court in particular has been more likely to allow states to have standing in certain issues. Here's what's in the filing that would block abortions, not just in Missouri, but across the nation. It would prevent medication from being mailed to pregnant women, make it illegal for minors to receive mifepristone entirely, Patients wouldn't be able to use the drug after seven weeks of pregnancy, and a patient would have to have three in-person visits with the doctor instead of none at all. It really does make it all the more um, difficult to access appropriate medical care, um, and I think that's the point. And we did reach out to Planned Parenthood, which, as you know, has been a strong supporter of this medication. The chief medical officer responded in part, quote, the attorney general is once again ignoring science and looking for ways to continue to harm Missourians. Mifepristone is safe, effective and the preferred abortion method for many.